the Yellowstone region is filled with spectacular geysers and colorful hot springs, home to lakes, meadows, mountains, and valleys, and covered in forests and grasslands. But what did Yellowstone look like before volcanic activity blasted several large vents across the region and covered vast expanses of land with thick lava flows and ash? Geologists have looked at the characteristics of the regions bordering the Yellowstone region at the mountains, rock types, and faults that formed areas like Teton and Jackson Hole, as well as Gallatin and Paradise Valley. Interpretive reconstruction of the Yellowstone Plateau region before early highland volcanism. The region is entirely high mountains and faults with no basins in the present-day highlands. The grey area is underlain by ash flow deposits from calderas in the eastern Snake River Plain area that predate the Yellowstone volcanic system. The Yellowstone hotspot lies beneath southeastern Idaho, fueled by eruptions that occurred from the high sea volcanic field. The sequence includes several large calderas that form through massive explosions, spreading ash across the landscape, including Jackson Hole and the area that is now Yellowstone. The pre-volcanic Yellowstone landscape consisted largely of highland areas with no present-day basins. Instead, mountains running mostly north-northwest to south-southeast ran across the region. The present-day Gallatin and Madison Mountains to the north were probably connected to the Teton and other ranges to the south, forming a continuous chain of mountains all bounded by major faults. Such fault-bounded mountain ranges are common throughout the western United States today as part of the Basin and Range Province, which stretches from eastern California to western Wyoming and Montana. These previously continuous mountain ranges are reflected in earthquake patterns and eruptive vents. Seismicity maps show several earthquake lines running north-northwest to south-southeast beneath the Yellowstone caldera, which may represent the still existing faults that controlled the mountains that were destroyed when the major explosive eruptions began in the Yellowstone region. There are also several roughly north-northwest to south-southeast trending rhyolite lava flow vent alignments that erupted after the Yellowstone caldera formed. Like earthquake patterns, vent alignment may also be controlled by pre-existing faults associated with the destroyed mountains. And because there were mountains all over the Yellowstone region before the Great Eruption, erosion was an important process. The high mountains were slowly eroded, and sediment eroded from these peaks accumulated in valleys at the base of the mountains. Some of this sediment is still there today, covered by thick layers of ash from the Yellowstone system's caldera-forming eruptions. spreading thick ash over an area larger than the state of Connecticut and dramatically changing the landscape. Today, many visitors to Yellowstone National Park approach the area from the north, south, or west. Driving through the mountains and valleys, these areas today represent what Yellowstone looked like several million years ago.